narrative, we know it's a red herring to say black on black crime. That doesn't exist, right? We know that it's in social proximity to whoever you live next to, that's who you will commit a crime against. When we're talking about city budgets, city shutdowns, and neighborhoods like South Shore, like Austin, the first priority of this mayor when he came into office, Mayor Rahm Emanuel, was to shut down six mental health facilities, right? So when we're talking about there is currently 3,000 people on a wait list to get city services for mental health. Um, these students, young people, folks just in every day in the city of Chicago are dealing with PTSD, anxiety, and trauma that comes with not only just over militarizing and over policing our communities, but intra communal violence, right? And so the fact that the city continues to throw the money and think that the answer is we know that more cops are not the answer, right? You could put a, a thousand million cops on the street in one square block and it, it won't prevent people from committing crime. But when you have job workforce programs, when you have good schools, when you have access to mental health uh, wellness, that is what produces responses and answers to these problems. So I just wanted to highlight that too. What do you see, uh, you're with Our Revolution, so obviously uh, organizing is important in this. We're seeing in New York, there's been some progressive victories. We're seeing even when progressives have lost, not just um, candidates, but ballot measures, it's starting to, the, the deficit and the gap of the loss is starting to shrink, we're seeing since 2016 in a lot of places. Are you seeing organizing here, uh, especially also white people? Uh, joining uh, black people. Are you seeing any improvements? Because a lot of the people I'm talking to are like, uh, ain't nothing ever going to change in Chicago. <laughs> I have definitely seen a major improvement since the Bernie campaign. Um, a lot more progressives are getting involved and what we're trying to do is we're trying to highlight the systemic problems in Chicago like lead in the water is our major issue this next um, election season. Also, we um, just won the Cook County Assessor's Race. Uh, Fritz Kage just won against the Cook County Democratic Chair, Joe Berrios, who had been um, stealing, basically, uh, millions of dollars from black and brown communities by over-assessing their property taxes and under-assessing the property taxes in white neighborhoods. Rahm Emanuel, Rahm Emanuel, who has, since mayor, of Chicago. Since he became mayor of Chicago, he has shut down mental health um, facilities. He has shut down, 50 schools have been shut down in Chicago since Rahm Emanuel became mayor. He has presided over a major, unprecedented police cover up that saw a black man named Laquan McDonald in 2014. The Chicago police said they shot him because he was rushing at them. Well, video that came out after Rahm Emanuel's reelection showed he was running away and a shot, they shot him 16 times, 16 times. That's why when I was covering a protest on Thursday, they kept chanting 16 shots at a cover up, 16 shots at a cover up. Rahm Emanuel has spent tens of millions of dollars to gentrify and beautify basically 10 to 15 blocks downtown and on the north side of Chicago. Gentrification on steroids, while redlining in other neighborhoods continues. And by the way, this is not unique just to Chicago. The violence is, but the gentrification is not. So I'm not defending gang members who shoot uh, innocent people. There is no defense for that. But we could talk about two things at once. What is creating the climate? What is creating the desperation? And what is underneath the violence? Well, when you don't have any jobs, when many communities on the South Side do not have a supermarket, literally do not have a supermarket, when many communities don't have a YMCA or a, a youth center, for young people to go to, gymnasiums for young people to go to. When there are, again, no jobs. When people are not just living paycheck to paycheck, but day to day. I mean, all you gotta do is go to some parts of Chicago, which Ty and I did, and see, it is a war zone. 
It is people struggling to survive. That's in America. It's not Russia doing it. It's government policy doing it. By the way, again, a democratic mayor. A democratic mayor. So, I don't want to hear Rahm Emanuel sitting up there. Oh, our values and this and that. Well, where are your values, Mayor Emanuel? Why are you um, strangling and suffocating communities of color and poor communities even more so that you could give your developer, developers who donate to your coffers and your campaign more contracts and wealthy people more contracts who donate to you? That's not somebody with values. That's somebody who is basically trying to push black people and poor people out of a place like Chicago, because that's what's going on. That is what's going on. So, yeah, conservatives and certain people could very simply say, hey, we need more police. This is a law and order issue. Uh, I disagree. Police are part of the problem in Chicago. There's a lot of police violence going on in Chicago. There are people like Harith Augustus, a barber, who's literally in front of the barbershop and police approach him. You got one police officer he's talking to, everything's fine. Then three come up on him because they found, uh, what was it? Uh, suspicion of an armed man. This is a controlled carry state, controlled carry state. But they felt uh, suspicion of an armed individual was what police said. And within three seconds, they shot him. Period. You saw Maurice Granton running from police. They shot him in the back several times. So I really don't want to hear any more, any more about uh, Rahm Emanuel's values or we need more police or the problem is uh, gangs give economic opportunity to people in Chicago. Give investment, invest in the south side of Chicago. You'll see a lot more killing. You'll see a lot more bloodshed. Doesn't defend, doesn't defend murder, but the climate and the conditions underneath it are why you're seeing a war zone. No other way to put it, a war zone. 